Taylor, thanks for coming to my channel. I am so excited about this episode. I wanted to follow through on something I've said a long time ago. I'm the queen of planners, so I just figured let me share what I look for in a planner. I just, I've always taken on a lot of different things. If that was like a lot of hobbies or a lot of interests, you're on my YouTube channel. Just things that I always have on my plate. I've been able to organize them, plan them, always been an ambitious person, always been, you know, someone who envisioned different things for their life. And so I wanted to just sort of share the massive amount of planners and notebooks that I have and what I look for in a planner that has helped me in the past, but also what I'm shifting towards um, because I don't want to promote buying all these things if you're not going to follow through with them which sometimes I don't I'm not perfect and it's a lot to maintain um so the planner that I got for this year though <laughs> it's a game changer a life changer I'm believing and so I, I'll finish with that but I do want to just come on here and sort of show, you know, my process and picking, a, you know, an ordinary planner. And if you want to go extraordinary, we'll end with the planner that I got this year that a friend told me about. And I finally bit the bullet and just invested in it. So, um, yeah, thanks for coming back to my channel. Please make sure to be sure you're subscribed for future videos. And um, let's get into it. So I wish you could see this pile. Actually, I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to use these muscles and I'm going to lift it up. And I don't even think this is all of them, but don't judge me, guys, okay? I see that. That's judgment on your face. Huh? Okay. How about I just go through each one of them and sort of say like what they're supposed to do because all of them are different. They're not just all regular calendar planners. Um, most of them are different. So I'll go through and sort of say what they are, why I felt I needed them, why I fell off if I did, and you know um, the different features each of them have and where I got them from if I can remember. So this first one is called a maker's log. It's actually just for creators, creatives, um, and it's a maker's log of like how you spend your time when you're creating. So it has this cute little page. The number one thing that I look for when I'm picking a planner is the visual. I'm a visual person and that's the reason why most of us buy planners is that we're visual people and we feel like we are gonna be more successful, more organized, more dedicated to the commitments we're, we're lining out if we're able to write it down and have a visual reminder of it. At least that's how it is for me. Um, so visually pleasing. Um, and I liked the different pages of it. So let me find some empty stuff so, before I leak any of my ideas. Um, a lot of the times I have just ideas flowing through my head and I need a place where I can write them down and you know try to clear out some of that mental space so writing it out sort of helps me with that um most of the time it, if it's really late i'll just grab my phone and do it because it's less paper less noise i don't want to wake up samson don't want to find a pen even though i usually keep them right by my bed because of this reason um and all of that stuff so which is where the weekly planning comes into play um this is great for my shop allure when I have orders um, that I need to fulfill, I can, you know, give myself sort of a deadline, but it's also great for blogging and if you just want to keep track of your social media posts, promoting your DIY projects, it has the Monday through Sunday here in a grid format and it asks, you know, if you can just check off some of these things that it asks. I jumped on this because it is so relatable to me. It asks some of the things that I have to remind myself to do. And so just one thing that I don't have to keep lodged in my brain or remember, I'm going to buy it. Um, I actually got this from Michaels. A random find. I didn't go in to find it. But every time I'm in a Michaels or anywhere that I know that sells 
journals and diaries and planners I always go by the aisle I have a problem whatever but it was on sale for literally like two bucks so nobody can get mad at me about this one um, and like I said, it's not dated. I love things that aren't dated because I can reuse them. And if there's ever a time where I'm too busy to write things down and to log things, I can always come back to it, which would be a good time for me now because of just the efforts I'm making to become even more streamlined, efficient, and all that good stuff. So this is also from Michaels. It's the Recollections. I'm pretty sure people are familiar with these. Um, so planners gonna plan. That's my life anthem. Um, one thing that I need to do, um, we're planning a wedding this year, but even before that, I really sucked at money managing it. Thankfully, Samson is better and he handles that for me, um, for us. And so I invested in this. It's a spending tracker here. I keep missing the other pages, it looks like, but there's like a monthly breakdown. 10 ways to save today, goals, notes, ideas. And then I liked this because I don't know if I'm just so busy, I can't seem to remember things, but each month I somehow forget about bills. So I like that it gives you the opportunity to list out your bills, the due date, the amount, and um, the actual amount you spent. And then gives you some lines here to add anything that they did not list out. So I like it. So meal planning. I do my best to meal plan every Sunday for the week. So I wanted to get the menu option so I can come in here and write down things that I know we're going to end up needing that we get often. It's a little shopping list on this page and then the weekly menu planning on this page. So you can list out your five favorite meals there, your staples, easy dinner ideas. And then there's a fridge inventory and a pantry inventory. These are very easily torn out so you can take them to the store with you instead of the whole booklet if you don't have a big purse like me. So here's a fitness one. So the fitness one obviously has relations to fitness goals. And for me it was more about fitness logging because um, I'm currently in a program where I'm losing all the weight that I've gained up and down that doesn't seem to be going as down as it used to um, especially for my wedding this year and everything else that comes after that wedding so I wanted to dedicate to um, making more consistent goals and efforts to doing it so I really like this one you have your goals for the year up in the front it breaks down to fitness goals by month and by week um, in the week, you can write in your actual activity here. By goals, by week, and you can log your activity for how long. Here's the nutrition element. You can mark your water intake, what you ate, how many calories. Um, if you're counting calories or carbs or whatever, just, you know, scratch out and make it happen. Your weekly habits and the review of each month. Reflection. Um... I really like it. I enjoy it. I need to just make sure I do it consistently and that's sort of like, as you can see, my my thing. Um, but that's why for 2020, my year, um, my word of the year is execution. And execution means following through and being committed to the things that I've started, you know. So this is my 2019 planner. I got this from TJ Maxx. I love it, but I will admit I, I, I think I got it halfway through the year. No, I didn't. I had got it at the beginning of the year and I lost it. <laughs> Moment of silence. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But anyway, so I really liked it because it has the month i always need a month view this is the beginning of the month i always have my little sticky sheets in there apparently i was tough on budgeting this year and last year it's 2020 it's 2020 and then um so your month view and then it has notes in between the month and um then it goes into your weekly planning
It came with stickers. I don't, I don't mind the stickers, but I don't need them. Cute, right? But this one has a huge note section in the back. All of this back here are for notes. I always need a lot of note sections because if I don't, I end up buying a, a regular roll notebook for just notes. TJ Maxx has some good planners. Don't sleep on them. Hustle and Heart regular notebook. I got that from FedEx Business Center. Don't sleep on them either. This baby right here is, I love sometimes when it's just like bound like a book. Something about it just makes it feel like so fancy. I love it. And this is also like a private like journal diary, but also like when I'm working or that's my PTO planning for 2020 because of the wedding and the um, honeymoon. So I had to line it all out already and just different things. There's entries from my wedding planner meetings, um, from podcasts that I listen to. So um, yeah, I love something that I can just freeform thoughts into and use for whatever I want. Now the, that's something that I've really grown into because when I was younger I used to be even more OCD and I would want a notebook for each separate thing. One for just my thoughts at the end of the day where I can like put emotional shit into. One for anything that I was reading and I wanted to like remember or have notes from like learning experiences and stuff. One for planning and I would have a planner for that, which I still do have a planner, but sometimes those planners get so, I'm really, what's the word? <laughs> Probably snobby about how my writing and how the pages look like they need to look crisp and clean for me which some of these as you see have it but I've been trying to make myself get through one complete notebook one com complete planner before I go out and buy another one and it's happening this year um so with that being said this is my 2020 planner something more it looks dirty but let me get a wipe it's plastic the outside anyway is plastic so I can wipe it off and that's something <laughs> that was big for me because I will literally spill something on a notebook and go out and buy another one because I can't stand that it looked dirty so there we go it's brand new stay chic I feel like it's timeless it's elegant these things matter to me folks so and when you open this page here, it has this, and I love it because I can put like documents that I need to access really quick there. It's really simple. This one's from Blue Sky, and I got it at Target. Did I get this at Target? Y'all. I usually remember everywhere. No, I did not. I got this at FedEx. I got this at FedEx. FedEx has some hidden gems. Let me tell you. Gems? Gem. I feel like I'm saying like I'm going to the gym. But you know what I meant, okay? So it opens up to your normal year over year overlooking calendar. Your holidays. Um, it gives you, when I lost that one, I went in out and I got this one because it gives you the last like six months of 2019 before it jumped into 2020. I appreciated that so much. After each month it has, um, I'm sorry, after the year ended it had best of 2019 and 2020 goals. Um, start each day with a smile and end with champagne. So it's like a real journal after my own heart. <laughs> um, but I really like things that have like sweet little sayings and things just that can speak positivity in your in your life. I mean, a planner isn't necessarily supposed to spark joy for the common person, but for me, I feel like it, it should. And thankfully, these creators of these planners felt the same way because if you're doing it right, you're supposed to be accessing this each day just to see what your day is looking like, what your week, what your month is looking like. And why not have a little phrase of something to 
encourage you to keep you going i remember i used to be so obsessed with planners that i i used to swear up and down one day i was going to make my own with everything that i wanted in it so i didn't have to buy one that just looked nice one that actually had stuff that i wanted in it one that had a plenty full note section one that you know did all of that so i am really thinking that these companies are catching on because the more i dig deep the more I'm finding that has more and more of what I want so it's a good week to have a good week you know just stuff like that I have plenty of space to write and then currently loving and notes is on each week versus the end of each month so that's cool but at the end of each month you have a bigger section that says best of the month um loving feeling enjoying anticipating watching reading listening to wishing planning obsessed with i actually did fill it out this month and then the goals of the month um so i can check them off when i succeed at them february of course it says love is in the air it's just like cute simple and elegant usually i hate when the pages are only black and white but this time i was okay with it because of all of the other things that it had and then it doesn't have much of a big note section in the back so that's why I'm still living out of my other black, white, and gold notebook that I showed you here. And so far, I'm okay with them. I'm okay with them being separate. But let's get into the big dog. The reason I called y'all here today. You ready for this? I did it. I invested in a Cultivate What Matters planner. So, my coworker who knows how I am and what I love about a planner, she was like, I bought a planner and I think you're gonna love it. It gets here next week. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, that's random. She's like, it was really expensive. I, but I think it's going to change a lot for me. And I was like, whoa, wait change a lot like what do you mean <laughs> a planner is a planner a planner is where you put your things not have it feed into you really so much other other than the you know positive little sayings that I was talking about no when she got it and she showed me after a week of waiting and just sort of talking about it at work and passing and I flipped through the first few pages of this book and I said I'm buying it I got it on sale. She ordered it, you know, at the beginning of the year. I ordered it, I think, the second week of, of this month of January. So it was slightly on sale. And um, I paid 60 bucks for it. 60 bucks for a planner. I think you have to be dedicated to planners to spend 60 bucks on one. But it's durable. And I seeing hers in person and filling it and, like, reading it, only snippets of it of course um that's what made me do it because it is worth it and I feel like you can't really just tell that when you're seeing it online so anybody who's been eyeing it online but doesn't want to spend the money I suggest you do it I haven't even gotten through a fourth of this thing and it's already making me you know really make my 2020 word happen I'm fully executing all of my commitments and it's a good feeling and so I just want it to continue and I, I believe it will because I'm going to make it <laughs> it comes with these cute little postcards 2020 let's do this you can send this to a friend if you know that they are you know interested in making their life more or organized or following through on goals you have your little card that says write down your word of the year I thankfully already knew my word but I didn't fill it out yet because again I'm very picky about handwriting and I was like what if I write it down ugly but she is so good that she knows the minds of planners who are like me we we're overthinkers but that's because we're deep thinkers we're where <laughs> everything matters to, to us. So one of the things that caught my eye when I was reading my coworker 
um, co-workers version of this before I had my own is that she actually called out you know on this first page she sort of just says I think this isn't the first page there's more here um, I'll go back but the thing that popped out to me is this blank sheet here and it's write out your 2020 goals now normal Taylor would have been had this blank until February 27th because I'm like I, I don't know I have to put them all out on paper and then write them in here so my handwriting's really pretty and I can go back and reference it throughout the year no she says write some thoughts and ideas here no perfect handwriting needed just jump in or just dig in and I was like are you talking to me because that's me. I will literally like, this planner is perfect. I spent money on it. It's so cute. I don't want to mess it up with a smudge or a makeup smudge, which gets on all of my stuff when I'm not paying attention. And she's right. It doesn't matter. You guys want to know what anxiety can look like? It can be as small as freaking out because you're going to ruin something that looks so perfect and neat and cute. And so you you freak out over nothing. It doesn't matter. So I was like, I love her already. I don't want to tell too much because I really do want you guys to go out and buy this. This, I, I have no affiliation with these people. I wish I did. <laughs> Laura, Lara, Laura, I don't know how you pronounce it. Call me, girl. I feel like we could get some things done. Um, she just sort of explains her motivation behind it, why she built it the way she built it. Here, um, and here's a little excerpt that I will read. You can see here, what if today is the day that everything changes? I love that. So she makes you date, you know, the day you started. Um, but here's a little excerpt. So maybe you're afraid to let your pen touch this paper because you want to put down perfect words, final, clear, polished, perfect answers in perfect handwriting. Maybe you feel inadequate, overwhelmed, lost, or unsure of the path ahead. Maybe you're afraid that the words you put down here will change. So you hesitate. Guess what? Peonies grow through the dirt, and so do you. Hesitate no more. It's time to get your hands dirty, make a mess, and dig in. A year from now, you'll be so glad you did. I love that, and it gave me the motivation to just dig in, just get started, make these things happen. I mean, it speaks so much more toward just writing your goals down in a planner. First of all, this isn't a planner. This is a goal setting power sheet notebook. It gives power to your goals. It gives you the power to follow through on your goals. Um, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing again because I really want you guys to get it. It comes with cute little stickers. My friend got an, um, she, actually, she actually gave me the goal sticker book, which I'll show you a little bit of. Um, so sweet of her, but just, to, stickers to mark what matter if you're into that kind of thing um here's free form writing your your 2020 goals down i do believe in setting goals i'm not so much into the new year new me thing um if you need to start over start over i just personally believe and i love the way lara phrases it there's nothing special or magical about january 1st um i have screwed up so many times i personally have had to reset throughout the whole year at times so i'm not going to wait until january 1 um and i don't think you should either <sighs> This is also one of the first things that you see in the notebook and it's so amazing. Overthinking and comparison is just the thief of joy. I mean, there's nothing that gives you benefits from overthinking or comparing. And for me, I really have dealt with a lot of changing my mindset. Um, I would say 2017, 2018, 
I just really had to change my mindset. I mean, about being on here on YouTube, it's 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 saturated, and a lot of the people have been here for years. They have this perfect setup. They have, you know, they articulate their message perfectly. I didn't post a lot or post consistently because I would film something and it just didn't, it wasn't perfect. So I wouldn't put it out there. Um, and those hesitations and those setbacks probably set back success through multiple avenues, not just that example, because of how I was handling those situations. So I literally think that this year... I already know this year is mine and it's going to change everything in the future because I already knew manifestation and the power of my words. I speak that, I receive that. But putting it to paper in the same way that I tell myself to think and to speak, it sort of makes it more actual. It makes it in this world another time by another method. And I feel like that is what I needed. That was maybe the missing link to this rocket I'm about to jump on and ride off into my version of what success looks like for my life. It may not be the same for you. And so don't compare. So it just makes you take a look at your life and actually figure out what you've been lacking, what you've been missing out on, and maybe that will push you to the next level. But yeah, just a lot of different things. The main part of this is for the goals. The goal setting. So there's a whole tab that separates out your goals. There's eight breakdowns of your goals. So you write down your goal. You write down the many goals that it will take to achieve them. Your action plan. And then you have quarterly checkups, which are so awesome because you can keep yourself accountable. So me, my coworker, and our other friend all bought this. We're also doing a book club that was separate from this, but now this is going to keep us on top of following through with that book club. I've tried to start a book club so many different times with people and I personally let time get in the way and I would fall off. And yeah, so we are keeping ourselves accountable to actually doing the one book a month for now. Hopefully it will grow into something more. And um, the month view sort of just gives you this cross um, planner that's, you know, I'm excited for important things to accomplish this month on my mind, worries and stressors. And you're hopeful that this is going to happen. I really like the breakdown of that. It gives you one little month calendar. So this is, again, not a planner for you to load all of your tasks into but you can have a focus for the month in action ideas, as well as encouraging words in a top priority for the month. Monthly and weekly tabs of action items, and you can sort of color in your progress over here. Um, and then at the end, you have your month in review. I just really like how she broke this down, and it looks good, it feels good, it's, it's durable, it's quality, and I'm excited guys I don't know what else to tell you so you can color code all of your tasks and priorities if you want to have them set out you know specific reminders based off of color coding and then there's of course you know fun ones movie night date night play date family time must do's I love this I'm grateful for this important down here so all those different types of things get you one. If you are looking to go to the next level this year like I am, this next decade, and just really at the point in your life where you have finally gotten to a level of, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if I fail. I don't care what people think of me in my pursuit of success I don't care if things fall apart personally I believe it's for a reason because God must have something else planned for me I know I'm favored and I know I'm blessed and I know I haven't made it to where I'm at now which may not be a lot for some people but from where I come from it is um 
and I, I've become more grateful for things. I've, I've become more grateful for the losses and what I thought were losses that weren't. I've learned so much over the past three years. And I think 2019 was just the, the year where a lot of things started to take action and started to pick up. And 2020 is the year of execution. I cannot say it enough. I have put all these plans in place. Things are rolling. Now it's time to execute. It's not time. It's time to go to the next level. Either do it or don't do it. And that's what I had to tell myself. I was like, you know, you've planned your ass off, but plans can only be plans. You know, it's good to have goals. It's good to have dreams. But what are you going to do about them? Are you going to let the naysayers, the people who, you know, only support certain aspects of your business, um, but nothing that could intimidate their business? You know, it's like, are you going to let people dictate your future and your success are you going to do it um and every time i've tried to plan so this perfect life it always fell to shit so i'm really digging into what i feel like my purpose from god is for my life and how they do align with what my plan was but maybe i'm going about it my way versus his and that's what I'm dedicated to this year is going his way. And I, I know that things are going to work out. And for a woman with anxiety about things working out and things, you know, going bad <laughs> or failure, I can, I can't believe the progress I've made and even accepting that, you know, if, if it's, if it's meant to be, it'll be. Saying it and believing it are two different things for me. I used to say it all the time, but I truly believe that I'm in a place where I believe it and it's a great place to be. So with that being said, with my 2020 goals, I have an announcement. 